international caps for him. He's relatively been the number two behind Marvin Phillips. So police sponsor will lead their defense in goal. And uh, Elijah Belgrave and his experience will be relied on at the back together with Kadian Gabriel, the former Central FC man. Former Derby Connection striker Jem Gordon is in the lineup together with Gabriel Nanton. And uh, they've got some pedigree in attack with Jabari Mitchell expected to lead the attack for Police FC. So the boys in grey, the low men as they're called, a club that has been around for over 40 years. And they meet the newcomers, Real Westport, who will have Jack Poon Lewis in goal, the former SSFL goalkeeper. Nicholas Walker gets his way into the starting lineup together with Cornel Thomas, the former St. Anne's Rangers man. Brandon Creed, the former TNT Youth International, is in with Karen Cummings. And Sean De Silva, the former national youth captain. And uh, Gary Griffith III gets a place in the lineup this evening together with Cordell Samuel, who's played all over Eastern Asia and is back with this team scoring goals. Yeah, similar to the fixture last week where we saw. And uh, Brent Sancho will also be on the ground. Speaking to our man of the match as chances opened up early. This one, Elijah Belgrave just couldn't convert the Jabari Mitchell service. Then more from police as they probed, and this time Jem Gordon taken out. Referee Nyron pointing to the spot. Up steps Nanton, and it's 1 0. That was in the 23rd minute. Just three minutes later, Nanton on a probing run. And his pass sees Freitas knocked over. And uh, again, the referee pointing to the spot. This time, Jabari Mitchell getting the first of his two goals on the evening. Nothing Poon Lewis could do to stop that one. And police were 2-0 ahead in the 26th minute. Westford did have a few moments of their own. This perhaps the best of them. Not pinning the donkey's tail on that occasion. And, uh, well, Bailey... Outstanding in the middle, getting a shot away. Poon Lewis up to the task. But then it was the turn of the central defender, Cameron Purcell, to get his name on the score sheet in the 42nd minute. And just look at the celebrations. So 3-0 at halftime. Was there to be more from the low men? Jabari Mitchell certainly thought so. He huffed and puffed at one taking a deflection. On the opposite end, Griffith Jr. putting this service in. And uh, perhaps the story of the second half for Westport. And then Jem Gordon creating a chance. And how about that for the buffet being messed up? Certainly put on a platter. And then Hutchinson, the defender, taking a deflection. And Jabari Mitchell getting his second of the evening. On the opposite end, Karen Cummings pushed high into the attack. Created perhaps the best moment for Westford. And the upright just coming to the rescue. More from police. And uh, Poon Lewis. How many times did we see him pull out spectacular saves? And this one perhaps the best of those saves. How about that from close range? Perhaps the moment of the match. Certainly wasn't short of action as Sean De Silva got in on the act later on. And that one just missing the mark. And the police, as you saw, 19 shots going to police, 12 of those on target. Real Westport, not to be left behind. They did get 10 shots, half of those on target. But in the end, Police FC taking the 4-0 win over Real Westport. Well, I'll tell you what, so I've got Brent Sancho standing by, and he's got our man of the match, Jabari Mitchell. Yes, and we're joined uh, tonight now by uh, tonight's man of the match, Jabari Mitchell. Of course, Jabari, a positive re result last Sunday against Kanupia FC. A positive result here again tonight is Police FC on the ascendancy. Of course, challenging for the Ascension Trophy. Police FC is getting better. We're playing the football we want to play. And that's very important for us, but we're thankful for the three points as well. Well, of course, a commanding performance by yourself tonight. Two goals to the good. Uh, a, a, a performance where we saw you breaking the lines, getting forward a lot. Is that an instruction from Coach Hood? Demanding from you to get more advanced, 
uh, in the way that uh, police set up here tonight? Yeah, definitely. A little more energy required for me. And I, I think I, I executed that tonight. I think the quality could be a little better because I think I could do a lot better. But I'm thankful for the hard work and the victory tonight, most important. Looking forward to the next fixtures coming up. Where do you see police uh, moving forward and what they can improve in to go forward? As I say, we're building every game, we're doing better. I think we, we quality and style of play could improve. Well, congratulations, uh, Gerard. You are our man of the match. And of course, I'm now joined by uh, the professor.